So. I got that, that into my system. Fortunately, it's uh, 0, 0.0. So, alcohol free because I'm uh, not that keen on drinking alcohol for reasons that I already explained multiple times. But, uh, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. And, uh, yeah, welcome back indeed. This is going to be the sequel to uh, the honest thoughts about uh, Cyberfrog. Which was part of the two-parter, and the second part is today. Because uh, the next contender is a special contender. I'm probably the only guy in Europe that talks about it. <laughs> we're, we're going to put so we're going to put Soulfinder Demons match against Cyberfrog. That's like uh, cursing inside inside the church. No pun intended. I have no regrets for it either. <laughs> but okay. So uh, yeah. It's an... Um, it's a combo. It's, it's, a, it's a, yeah, basically an, uh, currently a title of uh, Iconic Comics. But uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. It's uh, written by uh, Doc Ernst. Art by Timothy Lim. Matthew Walden. The colors by Brett R. Smith. And uh, yeah. Douglas Ernst was also, yeah, I don't know if he ever was a member of CG or not, but yeah, all I know is that they had an ar that uh, Eden the Skyrim and he, him had an uh, argument at some point, but I have no idea how it ended in the end, and I lost track of all of it. But uh, yeah, fortunately I missed this campaign f from 2019 due to shipping costs and a week of unemployment in 2020, in the heydays of COVID. And uh, yeah, after I applied from Doug under a YouTuber named Just Some Guy, that kind of went off the deep end as well. I decided to contact Doug to figure out if there were still physical copies available because who knows. And uh, yeah, after some emails, emails back and forth, I was in the middle of yeah switching between day jobs. He uh, sent me a free copy at the end of April, which I received on May 2020. I never found time to read it until by June 16, 2020, when I was traveling by public transport to my current employer. After finishing the Hunchback of the Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, not the romanticized Disney version, the, one, the original from Victor Hugo is 10 times better, but 10 times darker as well. But uh, yeah, this, all, this, this is all written in this, uh, yeah. I'm using both uh, my notes. And uh, this handwritten review that I kept in st cold storage for like three years now. It's time to break this one uh, open. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to uh, do this. Uh, yeah, we're going to split it into uh, like once again eight parts. So uh, yeah, first one is the writer, etc. Second is the synopsis breakdown. Past this, next this, final verdict, where are they now? The winner of this matchup. And uh, suggestions to uh, decide which one you should pick or not. This will leave in, this is something I'll leave entirely up to the readers and uh, connoisseurs to, ex to uh, decide. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to take another sip. I'm going to use my handwritten review right here. So, uh, yeah. Quick summary. And s well, first, uh, yeah, the writer. It's written by Douglas Ernst. <coughs> Artist Timothy Lim and uh, additional art Matthew Weldon. Colors are Brad R. Smith. The cover is uh, made by Dave Dorman, who did an amazing job. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Some names are even the cover. Something will appear later. And uh, yeah, there's some quote in it. The six extraordinary forms of demonic activity, possession, obsession, oppression, infliction, infestation, and six, subjection. Watch and pray that you will not, may not undergo the test. Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41. So uh, yeah, 
to give it, we're going right now we're going to the synopsis. So uh, yeah, what story of Soul Finder Demons Match is about? It's about a priest slash war veteran named Patrick Redder who lives in the small town of Sleepleton, Sleepleton, my bad, Maryland, whose father died in the line of duty as a cop. He's quite knowledgeable about uh, demon demonology and the occult, and the local authorities of his hometowns, Steepleton, Maryland, frequently call upon his expertise. When people in his hometown get possess and possessed by demons or sinned, local police require uh, his assistance in examining the occult elements. Much to the frustration of his uh, superior, the bishop. But we're coming back to that later. Eventually, Patrick gets contacted by a mysterious figure, an, Af an Afro-American man, such war veteran, led to a group of exorcists known as the Soul Finders. His name is Reginald Crane, and their history goes back for over 100 years, or, or hundreds of years, and although they were thought to be disbanded in 1972, they were still active in the 21st century when ever demonic threat appeared. So uh, together with their help and a young detective from the local police force, they joined forces to expel the demonic uh, occult elements of the demon named Blackfire from the face of the earth. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the synopsis. I'm going to turn this page around and uh, we're going straight to the breakdown. So uh, yeah, nice uh, quote from the Bible here. And uh, the guy was set on fire. The Sunday school kids are asking the age-old question, Father, why do bad things happen to good people? Good question. And uh, yeah. There's uh, rather in his office with uh, Charlotte. Want long and yeah, she asked him, yeah, I'm sorry, it depends on the Charlotte. Do they want the long answer or the short answer? Well they're mostly great schoolers. Do you have a really short answer? Yeah, I'll do my best. And uh, yeah. The print we're going to uh, steeple done. This is the prologue, Maryland, population 10,467 people. And uh, yeah, located in basically where Lewis County is, hot old town, known for its rich history and share of secrets. And uh, yeah, the officer, Officer Chua, walks into the, into, uh, yeah, brother's office and, uh, And uh, yeah, he makes a rather makes a joke. It's a little late for your confession, don't you think? You're enough to miss the local watchdogs. Those things scare me. Um, we need your help. It came in real handy last year. Re recent strings of suicides, they all have com a commonality, but forensics and nature require your expertise. So here you have it. Volume 1, Demons Match. Douglas Ernst Ryder. Artwork by Tim Lim. Colors by R. Smith. And the colors by... Uh, Dave Dorman and additional art by Matthew Weldon. And this offered Officer uh, Chua, especially the, officer, the one one young officer that's uh, accounted the demonic activity and uh, they require his expertise. And the first case that I find is uh, one pound kid slammed 250 pound uh, cop on his lunch break and broke three ribs. And audio from the body, camera's footage of the kids saying, uh, only, the, only, the, death blow, only the, the death blow will save you. That was before he was chased into a warehouse. And uh, 10 minutes later, officer on the scene and also left him was a pile of ash. Self immolation. What it basically means is that, uh, yeah. He, uh, He burned to crisp. Off the left of him was ashes. Or or let's let's say his uh, fuse ran out. No pun intended. And uh, yeah, here same thing. Army vet burned himself alive, hardly anything left. His family said his tattoo was fresh. Necros, right back at the, yeah, that means dead. And necros is Greek for uh, for dead. Necros. Was he Greek? Where were his Deployments, Christopher Smith, rank, sergeant, first class, young guy. I'm not sure on the deployment. So, uh, yeah, basically, uh, the vet set himself on fire. And, uh, yeah, going to move the tripod a little bit. Oops. Some cause of death in all cases. Here, an elderly couple, 
got weirder when we found his open diary entry. Every page was scrawled with uh, we are the living nothing. Some pages had drawings of his slug. One does black fire or someone else, but uh, spontaneous human combustion. Try getting forensics to say those three words. I call stuff is your gig though. I'd love to get your re read on this. So yeah, but you are mess it out here. And tells me to keep it under the radar. And uh, yeah. The next day, uh, Reddit goes uh, to visit the mortuary. And uh, yeah, check out uh, wh how they died. But uh, they found uh, cinder and bone that you might have found something else. Besides the dark tags with the Christian dem denom denomination scratched out. Here's the weird stuff. Toxicology and peptide traces show that this was just before he became a human torch. And it's a black match. A demon's match. Nice uh, symbolism right there. She, finds it, she thinks it's correct. Or he or she thinks it's crazy that uh, it was found among the ashes in perfect condition. Like a new sing new was like new, a single match with a black tip. Uh, thanks up. And yeah, he tells me that he doesn't like him. And rather uh, kind of makes a joke about the, that he does just doesn't love him hard and that he doesn't love him hard enough and uh, tells him to leave. Of course, science guy versus more uh, religious guy. It doesn't always uh, go hand in hand, but most of the times it does. Depends on the person, etc. But uh, yeah, some people have, some people believe this, some people believe that, and uh, what matters is that that you're still modern. That you don't go into extremes in to either to either side. That's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, next uh, Martinez household, 8:48 a.m. Miss Martinez, I'm Patrick, pa Father Patrick Rather. And he visits uh, Martinez's house, Javier, and he talks about Javier. And uh, yeah, she, it comes from St. Michael's. She tells, uh, she cries that she failed this boy. And she told him that she prayed to, Sa she prayed to Santa, Mo Santa Muerte. Told him that was that uh, Javier, it was, uh, it was wrong, Javier. Don't get rid of that evil shrine. God has punished me for neglecting him. For my divorce, God loves you, Mr. Martins, but he also gave Javier free will. Do you mind if I look at the shrine over there? And uh, yeah. The Reaper is on, on one side. There's a note on it saying uh, Library October 31. Which means that we're going into some kind of uh, weird uh, demonic ritual. That will happen later. They call, I wish none of this came into our lives. Is my baby lost forever? God's love and mercy is be beyond comprehension. We, can, we can't know the state of Javier's heart and will when we die, but we can always pray for his soul. So uh, yeah, here's another thing, yeah. yeah. The thing is, yeah, if you believe in it, actually, God, lo God of course loves her. He do doesn't blame her one bit. But indeed, they also gave humans, he also gave humans free will. So uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Javier took the wrong uh, ch choice. Made the wrong choice right here. And uh, yeah, go to a Halloween party. So uh, yeah, have you a great costume? Hello, ladies, and it's not a costume. Can you, can we help you? We're closing early. And uh, yeah, better visits to the library. And uh, ask them if anything happened out there. It's also about uh, Javier uh, Martinez, but uh, not them. Uh, Knows about him. And uh, he walks alongside, walks past the guy, tells him it's a nice costume. And uh, he tells him, yeah, happy Halloween, father. Which is absolutely sus. And uh, much later, 11.35 p.m., around midnight, he opens uh, the cell phone. Going to that, mom. Maybe he will be there this time. Martinez house. So, uh, he makes he contacts de Detective uh, Gregory Chua. Martinez came. Case developing. Gave me a call. If I don't answer, get to us library ASAP. What the? And uh, 
you're going to the ritual and uh, Charlotte uh, is about to commit a terrible sin. She will get punished by the occult. They're gonna, they're going to, uh, yeah, put the demonic baby inside of her. Just kidding, we're not going there. <laughs> we have to keep it uh, Christian friendly. Just kidding. So uh, yeah, they got, they come across. Uh, yeah, she walks into the, to the ritual, and uh, yeah, rather uh, looks uh, through, the, through the door, where they uh, yeah. Where the guys in plague uh, mask costumes, the plague knights, as a shovel knight reference, put her up. Uh, she undresses herself. She uh, put her. Uh, he puts her uh, body on the table, lies there with a crisp knife, stiletto, and uh, rather bursts in. Stop! Don't stop! What the? Yeah. And then. Uh, Someone shouts, and uh, yeah, everyone runs away in panic. Some dots here. Rather shout Shua's name, but uh, when before they can make it uh, the hell out of there to help hold her, Jared gets possessed by. Uh, by either the demon black fire of one of uh, his disciples, and uh, she flies into the air. Her eyes uh, shine brightly, and uh, Joa jo uh, sa says, uh, "What if you got us into this time?" Well, nothing to the, nothing to uh, the Halloween, not the Halloween party, that's for sure. <laughs> this is way, this this goes way further than that. <laughs> And uh, of course, because uh, Rather is uh, is uh, involved himself with uh, with things that shouldn't concern him, according to the bishop, the bishop gets pissed, and he uh, he tells her that he saved her that they saved her life, but he doesn't want to hear of it. You're a priest, Rather, not a cop, and you're not definitely not a longer a soldier, because he's also a war veteran. The supernatural is our stop. I warned about this. Excess curricular activities. You're out hunting ghosts and goblins instead of filling dues. <laughs> Enough with this nonsense. It says all your excellency. I have to talk to you like a drill sergeant. I have my best f effort as always. Focus more on reality, less mumbo jumbo. I don't want to have this talk again. Well, this goes for the mumbo jumbo. And here's a little matchbox with uh, around five matches, maybe six. Also known as uh, the demons matches. And the uh, librarians and those two guys are still sticking to the story that's just part. Calls and by a chart place, but none was home. And uh, yeah, what did the bishop say? Yeah, well, the bishop threw a tantrum. She do, Miss Martinez, let me take it. And uh, yeah, Miss Martinez calls. Uh, Miss, Miss Martinez uh, told her, yeah. Allowed him to take the invitation and uh, some reason I never see. Yeah, Ocho says he hasn't seen any of that before, but like wigs. That would apply. I've never seen that before. Meaning that it ties into something written in the no North this. And uh, the guy uh, whispers in his ear. And Ocho. Uh, Lights up one of the demons' matches, and uh, there's a, there's no other way that uh, yeah. This uh, yeah caused Patrick uh, better to uh, off guard, and uh, yeah, and there's a little demon that's uh, I'd like to hire someone else contacting him, and it makes him the matches make him really. Make uh, Patrick basically relive uh, memories from his past. He tells me, yeah, back to his uh, childhood, where his father uh, told him that, uh, yeah, his mother tells him that he has to leave. Come back, we have to go. 
She can't look for him. Got to head out for a while. A bit late. And uh, yeah. Time is next is. This could be his father. This could be his father. Yep. Or war veteran. He met in the, in the war. What? Bad. I'm that bad. Where are we? Did you kill us both? I, I don't know. You know the truth. But you know. I don't. I don't. Oh God, help me. And uh, yeah, basically, Blackfire is trying to uh, or to uh, manipulate him. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in hell, Pat. And uh, yeah, he comes back to reality. And uh, Ochoa still. Uh, Ochoa, my bad. It's uh, I need to learn how to spell the name. You call me. Should be now. Your boy got called out for me. You need me to call nine one one. No, I think we'll be fine. So was uh, Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle and. Chua wakes up as well. Darks, get away from me. Oh, what just hell? And he uh, doesn't know what happens. It's going to be okay, Greg. And uh, yeah, the, the owner of the restaurant or the chef tells him that if you're going to cause a ruckus or trouble, best take it elsewhere. I need to do And the uh, brother goes into some reading. So he goes to his house and uh, walks into the door. And uh, yeah. There's a black guy sitting in there. And no, he didn't steal a bike. He didn't, uh, he's not here to uh, claim his house or stab him. Those are terrible jokes, I know. But uh, it's not a tokenized character. It's not a uh, BLM activist. It's just uh, good old Father Reginald Crane. The good bishop is a bit uh, rough. But luckily, Father Benedict let me in. The first uh, two. The jokes before it were kind of bad jokes. <laughs> Just kidding. Father Reginald, now is not the best time, I suggest. Your time has come. You hold the, you're holding the, the Hora Noctis, used by the cult of Blackfire. You specialize in the study of ancient cults and demonology. That's why you were picked to be the diocesan exorcist, among other things. You all need soul finds. I think you're ready for the responsibility. So basically, he's, telling, he's pulling off a bad man and telling him, I'm putting a team together. People with special uh, abilities and interests. No pun intended. And uh, yeah, who he is. He tells me a little bit about the soul finders. They haven't been around since the church changed exorcisms from the minor order in 1972. Not true. So they thought they were disbanded in 1972, but uh, Reginald Crane tells him that uh, not. We're just a rare breed and they've been operating in the shadows. And Blackfire is apparently one of the most intelligent hell demons. He preys upon man's desire for supernatural intelligence to convince people to subjugate themselves to possession. He theorized that he was largely responsible for the rise of Gnosticism. Yeah, Gnosticism. In the first and second centuries. I need to know what that means. The Order of Soul Finds was uh, commissioned by Pope uh, Boniface, Bonifatius II. He was in his and our primary mission is to come to Blackfire in this horde. And basically they take the appearance of cobras. Man's unique creation of fusion of body and soul. Contrary to popular belief, no demon can fully possess a body. That's true. The soul, the soul is always answered uh, to the flesh. We the soul finds, find the soul, and we purge the demon out of it. And sometimes, uh, yeah, they make it out of their life. Sometimes the host dies. So, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, Blackfire is one of the smartest uh, demons out there, so he uh, he's a master of the physical plane. He cries at strength, men with strength and mind and body to defeat him and his minions. Only men who have witnessed the horrors of war can hope to come at him. The obsidian matches, and those are the obsidian matches that come in, not the demons matches. It's kind of demons matches. And yeah, there are demons matches actually, because they, those matches that you saw in those matchboxes, where it's also where the title was deviated from. They were used to summon the demon black fire during in ancient times. Like worthy adversaries in full with the battlefield. And uh, yeah. Reginald Crane also encountered him during his uh, when he was with the 9th Infantry Division during the Vietnam War. 
I've seen a lot. It was nothing like what you saw or witness as a soul finder. Yeah. It was either, yeah, one of those wars that was already, already lost before it even began. Cast a lot of, uh, yeah, pain on both sides. The recruiting pool is small, but your, your time downrange and skill sets make you the ideal candidate. You, you will fi be soul finder 79. I'll be in touch. And with this, uh, Rice North Crane uh, gets makes his way out there, and uh, yeah, Sun and uh, I guess it's time for Mass. He's uh, so far Father Patrick rather he zoomed the Mass. Jesus Sun twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave authority over unclean spirits. Did he though? Hello, Bart. And. Uh, this is uh, something he didn't expect. He sees his father walk in, but it's not really his, his father. This is uh, Blackfire possessing his body. And uh, he goes on with speech. For it's your house. What is it? your own family that wants nothing to do with you? Let's pull off Black as Night. But this is not really his father. He's possessed. How's your sister? Your mother? So that. And he. F Patrick. It's kind of uncomfortable right now. He uh, goes on this uh, sp with his speech, preaching to his uh, to church, uh, f to his uh, yeah, to the church, uh, to the visitants of the church, to the to the believers, and uh, yeah, you won't let let me fa let me pass the nave. It seems it's like I'm not wanted here. Oh well, we seen your path, and uh, yeah. Suddenly, the bot flies fly in. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to, to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Go further. The next day, we the household. And he uh, goes to visit his mother and uh, his sister. And apparently, his mother has ovarian cancer. We all know what the ovaries are. It's uh, within the female reproductive organ. Can only be uh, happen when uh, yeah, when you're biological women or woman. They could only get ovaries. Men don't have them. So yeah, kidding. A dead woman walking should be allowed to keep her sense of humor. Mom, well, well, well. And his sister walks in. And then his sister name is Danny. Tells her to uh, walk in. And ask, what was up with you breaking that Halloween party at the library? That's not what happened. I was helping the Lord with a case. And uh, yeah, she's kind of uh, more, more like uh, yeah, the unreligious kind. That the guy who wants others to buy into organized religion can even organize his own life. She makes a joke about it. Then you always and her mother uh, intervenes and tells her that uh, you need to respect the life choices. If you better respect your life choices, respect his faith. That means either that uh, she is not religious at all, or she. Uh, Kind of uh, walked away from the church due to the kind of scandals that happened. Who knows? I'll visit again soon, Mom. I love you. Love you too, Danny. And uh, just in the right place at the right time, <laughs> Father Reginald Crane appears. It's really funny. I, I like. I can't help but like this guy. He's always there in the right place at the right time. Need a ride? Yep. And so they go. So they go away. All the way to uh, just some di some diner, not some not just some guy, just some diner, and uh, they're further discussing. Uh, and yeah, he, of course, uh, compliments him on the car. <laughs> it's, it's an uh, refurbished uh, car. But, yeah, they bring it out of nowhere. It's really creepy. He's basically pulling off a Batman right here, and uh, yeah. And he uh, talks uh, with him about how his father ended here, but. Uh, but yeah, it was it was not really his fault. It was a demon in disguise as him. The Limax, one of the Limax. And uh, yeah, it interrupted him during the gospel. But uh, Reginald Crane tells him that yeah, he uh, he handled it better than he expected. He went to the extra mile to cover the, up the truth. Spontaneous combustion is one thing. With Blackfire, he confronted me during the mass. Those matches opened up some dark places in my mind. 
Ja, dus weet je wat deze Demons matches doen? Die uh, let you relive uh, the pa your past, dark memories from your past. And uh, also uh, allows uh, the Demon Blackfire to uh, contact uh, them from the uh, from, uh, yeah, supernatural realm. Of or from uh, hell in this case. From the underworld. To uh, I take possession or to, uh, yeah, feed on this on the gold, on this emotions. And uh, yeah, here goes another. Uh, flashback to his past. And uh, his uh, father tells him to, yeah, to go in so to work. You can have my boots and when I get back, stop leaving those boots by the door. Yeah, he goes, so basically what he does first, he goes into the top 45, that was his father, killed during a routine traffic stop. And uh, yeah, to him uh, to leaving those boots by the door. And uh, yeah, he waves him goodbye. And uh, yeah, he uh, contacts Chua and uh, he lights up another match. And uh, this is what happens next. He opens another memory, dark memory from his past. Bye, buddy, you're up there. I'll see you tomorrow. No, don't go, Dad. He's, he's st stuck in his treehouse. And he tells me he got to go. There's some bad guys to uh, poop behind bars. They by was planned to go from the military to law enforcement if it weren't for the EAD. Live your own life. Don't in imitate your father. Here is he some message. Don't imitate your father. Why do you think you've experienced so much suffering? You're living a lie. And uh, his father was also Roman Catholic. And surprise, surprise, there's no cross around his neck. So we're going. So uh, yeah, he gets killed by a bunch of bullets. And uh, here's Blackfire again. Nobody's coming. Our father, nobody. And he goes into a prayer. Our father, who art in heaven. And uh, yeah. Of course, uh, this puts him in, uh, yeah. Stuck between uh, both realms. And uh, Father Reginald Crane uh, intervenes before, uh, before uh, yeah, Blackfire could even do something. So he. Tells him, in nome di Gesù Cristo, ti ordino di smettere, smettere. So basically, in the name of Jesus Christ, stay the hell out of our way. I just want to see that one more time, I'm sorry. And uh, he, Red just wanted to see his dad one last time to see if he could still talk to him, but he tells him that, Reginald Crane tells him that, uh, that's how you risk it all, and that's how uh, yeah, Blackfire takes possession of you. So you still have a lot to learn. Things you won't find in the textbook. Indeed, in, and not in public school either. Believe me. So the next uh, morning, they go uh, to, the, to the bishop, or, or to, uh, yeah, to the police once again, or in ha inside the house. It's a kind of house. Two. Or to uh, Reginald's house. One, two. If it, and yeah, talking about uh, yeah, and yeah, he asks Reginald Crane asks uh, rather if he had if Bishop Beach. Oh, I spelled right. That's the name of the bishop. If you blank the authority to perform all exorcism, every DOC must have an exorcist. He clearly doesn't believe in possession, but he's content as long as I stay out of his hair. So yeah, he's kind of an, uh, yeah. Uh, a stubborn old man. <laughs> and yeah, this is where a couple of children found him. So this is where, uh, yeah, another few uh, victims died. And uh, yeah, this is where the couple's children found him. No underlying health issues with either of them. No history of mental illness. None. You guys smell that? And uh, brother smells something. And sulfur. It's faint, but it's still there. And uh, let's look for anything related to witchcraft or the occult. The demonic entry point. And uh, yeah, to find something, but uh, a crappy poet. So uh, yeah, find something uh, called. Check it out. Yeah, those things look familiar. Yeah, once again, those dark worms. Someone was a crap poet. There's one, there are many. He's, they are, I am, slug. We are slugs. So basic slugs. The monk says, we are slug. The Lord of all knowledge is home. Here, now, then, always. 
Hmm, just trying to line the mood. The word Noctis makes reference to the Limax. A slimy snail like tank type demon. So yeah, these are kind of based basically those kind of Limaxes. They are manifest themselves as slugs. If you know slugs, they're both a bless they're a blessing for the for the wild boars, because I eat them. And they are a curse for your own uh, garden. Because they eat all your uh, crops. Basically that. And sometimes they eat your soul, like this. So Chua, down here. And uh, they find more f pictures. Good work, I'll take that path. Excuse you, Reggie, a little warning next time. And Reggie walks up behind him. And uh, yeah. Still a parish priest with duties after all. And yeah, he tells him to go. And uh, yeah, t to uh, yeah, to her over here confession. But uh, yeah, the man, fondness of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And sometimes, uh, and there comes black fire again. So man, kill or be killed, indeed. So tells him to deliver the death blow. And uh, yeah, the possessed women attacks. But the uh, black fire makes it the hell out of here. Does it help? Call the police. And yeah, uh, she already did, unfortunately. And uh, he gets uh, attacked for uh, harassing. Uh, and uh, yeah, Javier Martinez case file. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, the officer doesn't believe him. You're a creep who runs Halloween ruins Halloween parties. Fact witnesses say you were the one acting possessed during the recent mass. This is nonsense, officer. I want to speak to Officer Chua. Chua can help you on this one. My advice, lawyer up. We'll call the Vatican. Uh, they got another scandal on their hands. Because, uh, yeah. This time it doesn't have to do with uh, the young boys or girls. We need to stay out of this. No and yeah, the bishop, Beach, tells him that uh, he told him multiple times to have this nonsense. And uh, yeah. His sister visits and. Uh, But uh, once again, Reginald Crane is there, out there, in the right place at the right time. He asks him how they get him the hell out of here. And uh, he tells him that uh, to have faith. And so, Reginald Crane lights up a demon's match and he's uh, teleported straight back to Vietnam. He wants us to find those Su Chi tunnels, right? Be careful what you wish for. And uh, yeah, he goes into the tunnel. And not in the tunnel of love. Just in, in some kind of uh, language. It's gotta be uh, either something Slavic, I think, or it could be Russian as well. Either way, it's, it's, it has to be in uh, either Eastern European language or something more Russian related. And, uh, or another Asian language, I don't know. And it doesn't, I know you're here. In the name of the Christ, I command you to show yourself and. Uh, Just you and me, Blackfire. And uh, yeah, the Limax, like a Blackfire attacks, says, Liar, he's with you too. What do you expect? And they go into the attack. And uh, yeah, once again, an illusion. Once again, an illusion and a flashback. And uh, wow, how dare you enter our realm? Walk not on you, soul for eternity. I suffer gladly to fulfill God's will. We have plans for the child. It was ours, and your protege took him from us. The child rejected your master out of his own free will, rather only represented him with the living truth. We'll see about that. Indeed, go to Chua. He'll take you to Redder. Alone, I know what's, that's what you want. We want everything. And uh, so, Reginald, uh, and she was down to, to the fight is on, the chase is on, and uh, yeah, she was here. And uh, Blackfire decides to take over some uh, street dogs, and uh, they can only attack against him. And here's an, uh, yeah street to hire a woman or a. Uh, some kind of hooker or something who was possessed by uh, 
or manifestation of uh, Blackfire himself. He spoke with the Soul Finder. Take us to the young priest. To the shepherd. Well, the shepherd is uh, pretty close. And, uh, yeah. He is uh, stuck in his uh, prison cell. Or either in his uh, office again. And this, char and, uh, this person over here is uh, charted. Who decides to, uh, yeah, spoil the party once again. So, yeah, sure how. I spoke with a commissioner. He's old friends of Reggie. Take away back down range back. We don't have long. Let's go. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, nice body. Good loot. Nice chest as well. But uh, the thing is, she's possessed. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. I'm not giving in to sin this time. So, no. Thanks for coming, Charlotte. Now that we're face to face, I can ask. What do you want to be freed of? The entity or entities within you? We have you to thank. This most... This host was deemed unworthy. It was to be rendered to ash like the others. All need was time. Time which you fought with your prideful interference. Interference. Charlotte, I fell you once. I won't fail you again. Why does your sister hate you? For every soul you steal from the Limax. Two thousand will fall by his temptations. You feel yourself. Oh. And uh, there's a language I can't read. Could be Greek or something else. Or my language, I don't know. It's over. We know your thoughts, priest. We know the, the, the God's thoughts. Our war is eternal. In nomine Patris et Fili, fili et Spiritus Sancti. And uh, he throws some holy water over the over the Limex, over a black fire. His minions. And uh, he attacks. He took your father. I'll take your mother. He destroyed your friends. And demolished your body. Lies. We allow you to suffer. Because he hates you. What the hell? And deep down, you know it. And she bites him. And uh, yeah. This time, the cop that uh, apprehended him uh, tells him that, oh god, no. Hey, did you call? Did you cling to your faith. As every aspect of your world melts. And uh, they, get, they need to get the hell out of here, of course. And uh, Joa tells him it's enough. But uh, yeah. And I'd rather uh, cast this demon back to uh, where he came from. I cast you and every satanic specter out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's as he who commands you. The one who flung you from the heights of heaven into the depths of hell. And uh, Blackfire makes his way out of there. One of the Limax. And uh, yeah. Charlotte is saved. How did you get here? You never gave up on me. And uh, he uh, falls down uh, unconscious. And uh, yeah, tell him that yeah, really both in both yeah, exhaustion and relief that he is still alive. Greg and uh, Greg Joa, I probably misspelled the name again. She got pre me pretty good, but nothing can, I can shake off. And uh, yeah, his mother is rushed to the hospital. And uh, he gives him a, the officer gives him a ride, so he rest, he'll be fine. Rest up, I think I got a bit, uh, I got this. And uh, yeah, take some things with him as well. But as we all know, this is an... Uh, we all know this is a trap set, but because, uh, yeah, see ma and he goes to the, to the nurse. See, ma'am, I got a call regarding my mom. Last name is Red, and... Uh, to no surprise, she's in the best hands, and uh, yeah, the Limax and Blackfire do possession of her body as well, tell them that uh, she's in the best hands. What happens here is, uh, he brought them here to negotiate with him, and what's happened here is, uh, we've been whispering to her for years, your kind refers to infestation, oppression, and obsession, yet they invite us into their homes, don't you get it? All those deaths were 
orchestrates so you, like your mother, might finally believe. And uh, yeah, life is still there. Why is the uh, this bell both on the physical and the the physical and the spiritual realm? It's about flying through France and uh, rather grabs a machine gun and tells him to get out of my out of his head. But uh, yeah, Blackfire is not impressed. He rage soldier, not the barrel. Keep going. He tells me that to keep going, and yeah, he basically fires him back. And uh, his father tells him to hold the line. Not really, but uh, Blackfire tells him that he lose. And uh, he summons the power of uh, the Father and Son in the Holy Spirit. Gladio Sancti, Michael, Dominae, Nostra Gladio, Gladioque, Domini Nostri Cruci, Ex Potestate, Ecclesiae, Ego Leo et Abrumpo, Omne, Iuncionem, Sidutinem. I hope I spelled it right. My Latin is uh, not the best. And he. Uh, one punch, one punch, one punch. He fires a bunch of uh, yeah, heavenly bullets and expels uh, his uh, his breath. He expels him back to uh, yeah, where he came from and tells him that uh, not only uh, getting rid of uh, his influence but also of uh, his uh, hold on his mo on his uh, mother, who uh, yeah, suffering from uh, yeah the ovary cancer and. Uh, that's it for now. And but uh, this this battle between uh, yeah heaven and hell took quite a toll out of his mother. Who, uh, and he uh, yeah, but he saved her soul just in time. Before he could pass, uh, she could pass uh, yeah the rainbow bridge to heaven this, or the starway to heaven, no matter how you look at it. And he tells him uh, with, with her last breath, she tells him that he will always be her little boy. And uh, tell his sister, and to tell his sister that he lost, he lost him, she lost her both. So, uh, yeah. The epilogue, here's the epilogue where he... Uh, Paul read a burns hill, then he's, and then he's so upset that she wasn't there when, uh, yeah. Her mother died, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. There's nothing she could have done either way. So I'm up to some sort of spite. Perhaps Thomas Merton can help. It takes a heroic humility to be nobody, but the man God intends you to be. I hope that this is what we were meant to be so far in 79. But also pain, suffering, sorrow and death brought us to this point. If when we would properly fulfill our role, greater good springs forth. From all forms of darkness. Many men allow pain to be the death of their soul, which is true. We see pain as a source of its life. That's also true. And uh, yeah, true faith reveals itself when everything else has been stripped away. It's your said and done, says the officer. I feel that none of us are safe. Then we better stick together. See you around, gentlemen, and may God be with you. And with this quote, be sober and watch, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, goeth about seeking whom he may devour. Peter 5.8. 5.8. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We're going to lose some art of uh, the Soul Finding Demons match. We're going to show character designs of Patrick Redder. The hardest character appears to nail down. So as you see, they've tried multiple characters until, yeah. Doc gave uh, Timothy Lim free reign to to make it his appearance as long as he was suspected, depicted as handsome, as handsome young man, but for some uh, a war veteran. And here's some nice information about his uh, clerical garb, the standard for Roman Catholic clergy. Solfine uniform is inspired by a mix of both Marine Corps and Chinese military uniforms. So uh, yeah, it's nice to see uh, Ravine, Ravine Ducks, uh, yeah, Little elements of Dutch faith, combined with uh, some nice uh, extras. And uh, yeah, here's Father Reginald Crane, one of uh, yeah, probably one of the, my favorite characters in this comic, aside from the demon. And uh, yeah, 
Red himself, of course. Got fair, a very defined visions for how Crane and Chua should look like. He described Chua as looking like a young Manny Pacquiao. Must be in uh, Spanish or in uh, Portuguese name. Tim Lim. Square triangle. And uh, here's his head. Mad actor Lance Reddick. Is Father Reginald Crane in the movie version of Soul Finder. I told this to Doc and he really loved the idea. I'm guessing that's what that is uh, who he has in mind from now on to. Fair. 5-8. Here's some, uh, yeah. Primali primali preliminary. Whoa. Pencils for uh, the front cover Soul Finder Demons match. With uh, the Black Fire Demon. Michael and, uh, yeah. Patrick Redder. And uh, here's uh, once again for the back for the back cover by uh, Dave Dorman. With Father Reginald Crane, the cross, and uh, yeah, Blackfire uh, spoiling all the fun. And uh, yeah, this uh, once again some uh, concept art by Matthew Weldon. Beautiful. And more by Matthew Weldon. That also looks amazing. And uh, here's, uh, yeah, once again Matthew Weldon with uh, Radder and uh, Reginald Crane and uh, the Limax, aka Blackfire, being in, being here, being, uh, yeah, a pain in their uh, butt. Also got a beautiful card here. And uh, yeah, a little official uh, memora memorandum. Dear reader, first, do not harm. is commonly associated with doctors who take the Hippocratic Oath. Soul Find Demons match was crafted with uh, the same vow in mind. Whites, whether they liked it or not, plant psychological seeds of their culture. Which is why I sought out Timothy Lim, Dave Dorman, Brad R. Smith, and Matt Weldon for this project. Capturing the good, the true, and the beautiful through art is difficult, but they understood the seriousness of the task and worked diligently towards achieving that goal. I couldn't be more pleased with the final result, and I could never fully express my gratitude to the many people involved who helped me this, make this book a reality. We all have our individual crosses to bear. And I hope that I have properly conveyed the idea that virtue is found in carrying them with grace and dignity. Father for Patrick, Patrick Redder, Father Reginald Crane, and Officer Gregory Chua are fallible characters like all of us. But they are men who never stop trying to do the right thing, no matter what the consequences are. Find out like to Offer a special thanks to Timothy Lim, who's also the artist of Camden America, Mark Pellegrini, Mike McNulty, Michael Kritzer, and the love of my life, this Doug's wife. For early suggestions on the script, writers need to honest feedback during the revision process, and often delivered when they matter the most. Dr. Ernst, 2019. And here's uh, Father Reginald Crane with, uh, with the King Cobra, or uh, Blackfire. Here's a quote about uh, a prayer to St. Michael. I'm not religious, but I appreciate this little detail. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares to, of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And Dodo, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell. Satan, all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seek the ruin of souls. Amen. Offered by Pat Patrick Dorman. I really like this card. It's beautiful. Even when you're not religious, you can admire the art in here. Which is the end of the breakdown. That was quite long. But we're going to, uh, yeah, now the positives. Unlike the previous book, this one had a really good balance between yeah, both writing and art. And uh, yeah, tradition. It's tra the story is traditional, but. At the same time, it is not scared to deviate from the norm that we see in uh, American comics. It's something th it's something different from the average superhero comic. It's a breath of fresh air. It's traditional at one in one, uh, and yeah, knowing the writer, he's also Roman Catholic. He's quite open about his faith. And even though I'm not, it doesn't feel like it's like it. Yeah, he's trying to push it, push his uh, yeah religious views down everyone's throats. It's from an objective point of view. But uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, yeah. The next is, yeah, or not. First, yeah, the dialogue at the beginning is quite a slow start. And there are some references to, yeah, Catholicism in there is reference to Dark's Fate. 
like I said, object from objective point of view, it doesn't feel forced like someone's trying to smack you the, with the Bible in your face. If you're not a religious person, like me for example, you won't be disappointed by the artwork and story writing. It also gives another perspective on certain issues than current mainstream comics. It shows that the majority of Christians, in this case Catholics, are not always bad people like they're supposed to be. Scandals happen, yes, but you can blame the, the ice from a few rotten apples on uh, the entire, yeah, on every person who uh, practices uh, that faith or that religion. And it's nice to see that the mother of Patrick rather before she died respects his faith and that the, the priest respects her personal opinion, his, her si his sister's personal opinion. A nice to live in that live moment as well. Another positive thing that I liked about uh, was the fact that they showed an Afro American man in another perspective. In this case, uh, Reginald Crane. I love this guy because he's always in the right place at the right time. First, I need to have a drink. Thank goodness. They showed an Afro American man, Father Reg Reginald Crane, with both the military experience from Vietnam, the masculinity, he was financially successful and he had knowledge of the occult they were dealing with, as one of the soul finds, of course. The one who recruits them, at least. People of faith would consider him a man of God, and even if you're not religious, you'll find him intriguing and potentially a good role model. Plus, he knew a lot about the history of the Catholic Church and the, and the Order of the Soul Finders. It was never written as a token, like what you currently see in the mainstream comic book industry. It was written like a person, strongly a masculine black man or Afro-American man of faith, who, uh, yeah, who could stand on his own feet. And that's, uh, yeah, unlike what you currently see in the mainstream comic book industry, where you have to be an, a completely tokenized character, when yeah, every individual has his own uh, yeah, train of thought. And uh, yeah, negatives. Yeah, aside from one panel where they rise in the air, where she, where uh, here's a over here. It's, her name is uh, Charlotte. Rise in the air when Black Fire processes her. This should have been a splash page in my opinion, but uh, yeah, I'm too used to manga to sign the manga so. On the other hand, it's nice to see the candle f falling down. It's, so, but it's a minor thing. There's one pen rising here, and there's no pie to the Netherlands as well. There's only to Japan, Germany, and uh, the United States. But aside from that, uh, those are minor things. I can't, it, it, I can't really find something negative in this. As first, we're going back to uh, my. Uh, Handwritten review, part two. Uh, overall, yeah, Doc absolutely nailed this. It, uh, it had a similar vibe like the old Constantine Swamp thing, even from Amazon Ghost Rider, spawned from the 80s and 90s. And if the next book has the same of quality, I won't hesitate to back both physical and copy or digital version in the go go. They currently bypass that because this is written in. Uh, this was written in 2020, and yeah, I won't hesitate to, I already have the second book uh, at my disposal, and the third one as well. Fortunately, I missed another one, because the one with the, yeah, the Roman helmet, because uh, I was a little, I made a little, yeah, I was on time to pick it up, and yeah, Postnell didn't communicate it well enough, so yeah, here it is. But yeah, overall, Doc absolutely nailed it. It has a similar vibe like the old quantity, it swamp thing, ghost ride things, but it has its own uh, it's not afraid to deviate from the norm. And this this crowd book is really deserves uh, yeah. This is one of the best crowd fund books that were out there during the day and right now they uh, yeah you could get it uh, through through their own site in immediately at your doorstep without having to wait two, three years for it. And yeah. This this send the sales stands. This is one of the best comic books you, or graphic novels you can find in the state. I want to thank Doug for sending me a free copy. Keep making those books, mate. We're getting to this part later. But I have to have, make a little uh, correction. Because... Uh, let 
don't look. Because, uh, for as you can read, I think this book deserves a 95 out of 100. It is just, yeah, it's that good. That's all I have to say for this vi for this video. And uh, yeah, we're going now to uh, we know we all know who the winner is. Soulfinder gets the edge over uh, Cyberpunk One. So where are they now? Like I mentioned before, after the crowdfunded uh, after the, after this crowdfunded book uh, went uh, yeah was fulfilled, they also uh, yeah then started Dark Tim Lim, Brad R. Smith, Matthew Weldon, Ninja Inc. They decided to go uh, again, yeah, create their own publisher, Iconic Comics USA. Eventually, s some characters like uh, Redder started to cross over with in other Kickstarter or campaigns like, uh, yeah. Like, for example, Come in America. They start, Tim Philippe started working in Come in America, and then uh, Mark Pellegrini as well. Erica and the, yeah. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Dave uh, Dorman. Yeah, also started working on the next boot. And uh, yeah, they also uh, yeah want uh, honored guests at uh, Bell Comic Bell City Comic Con. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is just a one hour uh, or more opinion of uh, yeah of one uh, normal guy on the internet. This is the winner of the matchup, but uh, like I said, this is just the opinion of one guy on the internet. Have you? So yeah. I've, I went through the book to both books two times, but uh, yeah, this is just my opinion. Please, I'm gonna give you a suggestion. What right next? Because we're putting it, those books with each other together at the end. We're now at part uh, eight. So yeah, suggestions. It's that. Uh, I mean, everyone has his preferences. Some people like one particular creator. Some people like uh, one particular genre. Some people like both. But uh, yeah, the suggestions are yeah, if you if you actively lived the '90s era, and uh, yeah, during the art, when image came up, etc., when the art was uh, kind of taking the priority over the writing, there were a lot of artists who thought they were could be good writers, and uh, yeah, some of them succeeded, a lot of them failed. And if you don't mind having a long delivery date, and uh, yeah, if you don't mind uh, the the lack of understanding of uh, certain anatomy, cyberfrog, blood honey, and whatever comes after that, I'm not giving track of it anymore because uh, yeah, due to my experiences with the guy, and I think uh, cyber, and if you don't mind, yeah, long waiting times, where they might or might not arrive, pick up cyberfrog, but if you want something. Uh, like if you're like me or like someone else who has not only read uh, American comics and graphic novels, but also things like manga, web comics, played certain RPGs, JRPGs, whatever, you've been exposed and you've been exposed to things like uh, Franco-European, Italian, and uh, even Dutch uh, comics and Belgian ones, Franco-Belgian ones. You want something more traditional that deviates from more spiritual minded even if you're not religious and want something to deviate from the norm a bit with a better balance between art and writing and people who yeah I've I only have good experience with the guys and if you want something with a less dra with less drama related things and inter without internet fi slap fights then uh, soul finder is your way to go it's a really good start to a uh, potential good series. I'm currently working on the fourth volume, so uh, yeah, pick up this one. And yeah, that's all it for today, folks. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Once again, Soulfinder gets the edge in this. Uh, yeah, I read both two times. I read this one a second time, and I came to the conclusion. Yeah. I said there could only be one winner in this matchup, that's Soulfinder at the moment, but yeah, like I said, some people prefer the more uh, yeah, flashy art of the image era, or the 90s era, like Cyberfrog. But for people who have been exposed to multiple things already, this might be the better pick. So yeah, 
do your own research, read both things, and uh, check every detail for yourself, and uh, make up your own mind and uh, mind about and decide uh, who's gonna get your who's get for yourself. If you want to give that one guy your money, go ahead. If you want to give uh, Soul Finder your money, Dark Iconic Comics, and etc., then go for this. And uh, yeah. Well, Astro Boy, we have to get back to another reading again. So I have to get back to work tomorrow. So uh, yeah. It's a one hour and, f and more video. So yeah. The good news is. Jerry Warrior issue 1, Death of the Family is still available on my the official website on Global Comics. And we currently started working on the on the yeah, inks again. On the inks and uh, yeah, the coloring. So uh, yeah. The release date will be it will be released in uh, at the beginning of uh, 2024. And I'm currently busy writing uh, chapter three chapter three is already written and rewritten scope like for the twelfth time. And it's going straight to, uh, yeah, it's currently being edited by Nev, and I'm also working on uh, chapter 4 and chapter 5. Because, uh, yeah, I couldn't let one of my wife who's, uh, yeah, go to waste. And the gods are going to intervene. No disrespect towards uh, you, Patrick Redder. You're great. You're a man of God yourself. So, uh, yeah, that's all for today, folks. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and uh, talk to I'll let you know what uh, will come next to this, but uh, yeah, shout out to, shout to uh, yeah, the contenders, and uh, even though one, I prefer one over the other, I'm kind of biased in that regard, and talk to you guys later, go and drink my uh, overpriced lemonade again, and uh, see you guys in the next one, amen, hasta la vista, matane.